Today on CBGIS, Nicole Scherzinger shares happy place with Tom Evans as they get cozy on romantic getaway. Jennifer Aniston jokes pal Paul Rude doesn't age in funny birthday message. And lastly, Declan Donnelly's family shaken as thieves target their £5 million home as they slept. Nicole Scherzinger and Tom Evans have been celebrating the rugby star's 36th birthday with a romantic trip to Hawaii. The pair have been celebrating the rugby star's 36th birthday in the LOS estate and Nicole, who is 42, has been sharing their journey on social media and she also took Tom Evans to her happy place as they continue their holiday. In the latest snaps, the pair can be seen relaxing while they're surrounded by natural beauty at the Waimanu Falls Trail in Oahu. The couple flaunted their physiques for the camera as they struck a pose in the secluded waterfall for snaps on the singer's Instagram story and believe me what a body to flaunt because look at the two of them. Anyway, she had previously shared in the day solo photos of herself beside a waterfall showing her yoga skills as she posed in a meditation position on the rocks. She had posted these pictures to her 4.8 million followers with the simple caption hashtag happy place. And on Saturday, the singer took to Instagram to post a tribute to a partner following a day on the beach. And it didn't end there as the rugby star himself also showcased a beautiful breakfast by the ocean in which a board showed off the words happy birthday written in a wine. I wish I could learn two, five, eight languages. Just saying. <laughs> And it wasn't just Nicole who was showcasing how much they're in tune with each other, but the rugby star Thumb also posted an Insta message on Sunday as a couple enjoyed a romantic hike in the glorious Hawaiian sunshine. Now, this two met in 2019 while filming the X Factor celebrity series, where Thumb competed in boy band TriStar alongside fellow former sportsmen Ben Fodin and Levi Davis. And after that, rumors quickly surfaced about the pair getting close, and before you know it, they made it official, and now they're looking at buying the property together in London and yes let's just say that's how their own love story went now there's a saying where they say better late than never in this case I'll say better late than rushed in and believe me I feel they're having the time of your life and enjoying you know their love and you know hoping that it goes into something bigger and better and yeah I'm quite happy too even though it has nothing to do with me but I'm happy I love love simple <laughs> Moving on to the next, Jennifer Aniston wished a former co-star, Paul Rude, a happy 52nd birthday, 52 people, and took to Instagram to say it's weird how he doesn't age. And believe me, I am on the same train with her on that one. The 52-year-old star, Jennifer, took to a social media platform to share her well wishes to a former co-star. Now, she wished him a happy birthday with a little bit of what I'd say is a backhanded compliment. <laughs> She said she, her love for him is strong and all of that, wishing him happy birthday, but you know, give a slight jab, or should I say jibe, at him not aging. I mean, come on, people, that's total vampire alert. <laughs> she wrote happy birthday, hashtag Paul Rudy, you don't age, which is weird, but we celebrate you anyway. Okay, she also shared more stills from the pair's acting together in a second post alongside a caption saying I love you. Now the image was of a pillow fight the pair acted out for their joint 2012 GQ cover story to promote Wonderlust. The two of them have regularly appeared on screen together, with both appearing in the 1998 movie The Object of My Affection and also um, co-acted in 17 episodes of Friends and it wasn't just the star that's Jennifer Aniston who talked about um, the birthday boy's youthful appearance but also macro follow that if you don't remember who that is let's just say Easter Hulk <laughs> also shared his own um, happy birthday message and also mentioned about finding the secret behind Paul Rue's eternal youth and fans also took to social media to wish him a happy birthday and Netflix also waited in talking about how much he doesn't look 52 and how he's not aging but honestly though every time I see him all I'm thinking is oh probably 40 years old 43 but then I see him and I'm like vampire alerts I mean how how and some people like it not to not to say anything but I'm just saying his genes are awesome that's it And lastly, Declan Donnelly's family are shaking as they were sleeping upstairs when burglars targeted their five million pound home in West London where they attempted to break in. That is scary. 
Declan Donnelly's £5 million home was the target of professional thieves over the Easter four-day weekend. Deck, his wife and their daughter, Isla, and their dog were sleeping upstairs when this burglars attempted to break in. Now, the Metropolitan Police swooped to the scene shortly before 1 a.m. after a 999 call just as the thieves left the house. And all the attempted burglars did not gain access to the mansion, but the forensic squad has been dispatched to check the area for evidence and also their CCTV has been taken for further analysis. According to the statement released by the Met Police, they were called around 1240 to report of an attempted burglary at the residential property. The officer said the suspect had left the scene before the police arrived and there were no evidence of um, gained access to the property. And although inquiries are still going on, no arrests have been made. Now it is believed that Deck and his wife were unaware of the almost break-in until morning when, you know, they got the, the whole police thing and um, going on. Well, it is believed that Deck and his wife were unaware of the almost break-in until morning when they, you know, probably they heard about the police report or something. The lavish mansion has been their family home since 2006, where they splashed the Wubi 1.9 million pounds on it. And right now, he's filming with his sidekick, Ant McPatlin, on their TV show, Saturday Night Take Away. Alright guys, first of all, I need to say, I think sometimes when tabloids or media uh, in any way give out information about celebrities, it kind of enables on um, these people, whether burglars or stalkers, in any way to find information about them. It makes it so easy. Like recently, Kendall had filed a restraining order against someone. That's Kendall Jenner. She had filed a restraining order against someone for coming into her property. And in her words, she blamed TMZ for giving that information out. So I feel there should be a limit to how much of the information about their residential area, even if it's not like pinpointed where they are exactly, there should still be a a restriction on talking about exactly where they live because we never know what could happen but all in all i'm glad that nothing happened they're okay the family is okay the property is okay and whatnot all right guys that's it for today on cb just thank you for tuning in as always join the conversation let's know what you think about everything we've talked about so far you can join us on every of our social media platforms on instagram at cameraboy.tv facebook at cameraboy official and twitter at cameraboy tv ng and also like and subscribe to our videos on youtube at cameraboy tv and you can also hit me up on instagram I want to fit underscore O and I on Twitter, Facebook, and every other social media out there. So I come here next time. Stay safe. Keep the love up. Adios.